Hi, this is Don Goldberg for TechView, and our guest today is Whitney Vickery from GCE, one of the leaders in federal financial management. And Whitney, thanks for being here. Thank you. Now, you guys, so we, we, you know, we've talked about the cloud for several years. It's the year 2010, and the cloud now is really becoming real with these large systems. You guys have helped implement the Department of Labor, mm -hmm. a massive enterprise-wide financial management system. Yes. When you go to the cloud, you get rid of the hardware and software. You get rid of having to build the system. What then do you have to focus on? Oh, sure. When you when you get rid of the risks of having to build out hardware and software, you can then focus on the people mm -hmm. and how the people are going to use the system and making sure that um, the system is going to provide the optimized business processes and controls and transparency and accountability right. and reporting that you wanted when you went into this business model. Now, you guys found some unintended consequences, mostly on the people, on the number of people, I mean, yeah. because the ones who touched directly a financial management system in the old world, mm -hmm. you know, might have been several hundred. But now you're talking about a multiplier or a ripple effect that's much greater. Talk about the challenge there. Sure. Well, when you put in a modernized financial system, you're going to have more functionality. More of your business processes are going to be automated and and consolidated in under one umbrella, let's mm -hmm. say. And so the the core group of people you had before might have been those, the accountants and the folks that did procurement and contracts um, that had a direct effect on the financials. But now you're going to have business processes and controls and integration with program um, groups, with travelers right. um, who need to have um, funding to go travel, to, to meet mission requirements mm -hmm. and, and mission needs. And the ripple effect then is that you're no longer training just that core group of people of how to do their everyday jobs. You are now trying to manage the expectations and training people that have really hadn't had to think about this before. Mm -hmm. So you're dealing with a, a, ma a major agency that's got offices in hundreds of locations, people mm -hmm. that have never had to deal with this before. Yeah. Now human nature, they're going to figure out ways to just kind of do the minimum or maybe do a workaround and get comfortable. As time goes on, how do you maximize the benefits and, and, and keep these people on board. Yeah, so what you're, what you're talking about is when people first learn how to use the system, they're going to be facing error messages that they hadn't before. They're going to be trying to use reports that they hadn't seen before. In fact, they're going to see screens and their cursor is actually going to move through fields that they've never seen before. So the first hurdle that they're going to have as they adopt this new system is trying to figure out how to use it. Like, how do I continue on with my everyday right. job with this new tool set that I have? Mm -hmm. um, and so once you get through that first hurdle, um, you'll find, or you know, federal managers are going to find that people kind of have this hybrid way of doing it. Mm -hmm. It's like they 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 go back to what they're comfortable doing, and then they're also trying to use this new system at the same time. And that's not really an optimized way of conducting business. Mm -hmm. And so what managers have to do after that is actually take their folks through almost like another phase of learning how to use the system. Right. And, and this is where you're going to take advantage of the automated business processes that have come with with the cloud environment, um, you know, again, with the cloud environment, you're mm -hmm. trying to get everybody to do the same thing, which makes it less costly. Um, it increases the level of controls right. and increases the level of accountability and it reduces the cost of compliance in the end. You want to get people to, to, to use the system in the way that it was first designed in order to glean all of those benefits. And that's really getting them away from this hybrid way of doing things mm -hmm. more into the way that the system was designed. Mm -hmm. So you're going to eliminate risk, but you're also going to have to work with your people over a period of time yes. and get them a little bit more comfortable to really take advantage. And that's where a lot of planning comes into play mm -hmm. because once the system is in its steady state and everybody thinks, wow, you know, we're actually, we're, we're at, it's actually producing financial reports and it's actually producing um, you know, things that we needed to mm -hmm. produce, um, that you're not really at the end. You really have to think about, um, are you really getting the original benefits that you had wanted? Mm -hmm. And is it time to go through this next phase of optimization? Mm -hmm. So it sounds like there's a, a lot of patience that has to be built into 
to the system when you go in this direction? Patience, leadership, being able to manage a lot of the complaints and the noise from the field, sure. from the many offices that you had talked about before, right. and just showing people that, you know, what is the end game? You know, what, what did we originally plan on getting out of this financial system and making sure that they realize what the true end is going to be? Mm -hmm. Well, Whitney, thanks for being here. It's a real case study on what the cloud's all about and the benefits you're going to get with time, as long as you have, like I said, leadership and patience. So thanks for being here. Thank you. I'm Don Goldberg for TechView.